Honestly, I don't feel right starting today's video without getting my Runelite plugins where they need to be. They just had a huge Runelite integration uh, update, bringing brand new player outlines, hover descriptions, tile indicators, PvP, tracker improvements, interact highlights, all that stuff has been added. Also, GPU just makes the game look so much cleaner, guys. So we have to get it where we won before this video. Hopefully, you guys do as well once you hop in a game. Check out that Runelite. Upon joining Spawn PK, make sure and come to the Referral Manager and you'll be able to get yourself a free Rekchi Santa hat and other goodies, which all you have to do is simply enter in this promotion code, which is Rekt. That'll uh, hook you up a lot and you'll look sexy, so make sure and do that. With that being said, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now we are, of course, back on Spawn PK, your boy Rekchi's favorite saver. And yeah, we're going to be doing a lovely update review. I honestly haven't seen an update this fat for Spawn PK in quite some time, so I know it's going to excite a lot of players. It's definitely been um, helping the saver grow. 300 plus daily every single day now. And they're definitely uh, climbing up the charts on the uh, rune locust list as well. So if you guys want to play, make sure and click those links down below. Right quick though, guys, last video, I gave away a $100 bond and one trill cash. And that winner is going down below. We're going to do the exact same giveaway. So pretty much two trill for the giveaway today, guys. They also just released a brand new cosmic rank, which is uh, fucking sick. We'll explain all that today. But yeah, guys, if you want to enter, make sure and like the video, comment down below your spawn PK IGN, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Be notified as well, the first comment is going to get a free $10 bond, so hey, it's pretty easy. Easy money, boys. Make sure and be notified, hop into game spawn PK, and enjoy the video. Starting off with rune light integration, I kind of uh, did a little snippet of that in the beginning, showing you guys like me setting up my own, uh, you know, settings, making it to my uh, personal preference. But hey, it's super simple, guys. New rune light integration. They've released a lot of stuff, but a task scroll revamp as well. In today's video, I kind of want to explore more of their wildy PVM content they added. They've released a lot of new uh, wilderness content, which is quite crazy, guys. Brand new uh, Blood Reavers, Haunted Dreadbones, we have Ballistic Knights, guys, Wilderness Implings, Cursed Treasure Hunting, all this is new wildy content, so lots to showcase. I'll actually be covering this update in like two to three parts, considering how large it is, and I want to cover each part quite, you know, good. I don't want to just skip through stuff very quick. I want to show you guys thoroughly these content pieces. All right, so the first piece of content will be the Wilderness Implings, guys. I would definitely recommend you all buy a uh, Butterfly Net off the TP. Only 26 bell. There's three different tiers, Blood Tier, Cursed, then Infernal. The higher tier you buy, of course, the better it gets. This one here increases the uh, catch rate of Implings and gets a 15% chance to double the Impling, which is nuts. So definitely uh, would pretty much buy that one if you could, but start off here, guys, with a Blood Butterfly Net. Now, there's actually three different tiers of implings as well. Blood, then of course, we got the Infernal and the Cursed. Once you catch these guys, you'll be receiving a Blood Impling Jar, which can only be looted out of the wilderness. So you have to catch these and get out really quick. Yo, we got a patch right here, dude. I haven't seen any other than like Blood Implings, to be fair, but there's a huge patch. Let's go. Finally, a Cursed Impling. These are uncommon, then the uh, Infernal are rare. Come here, bitch. Let's go. Daily money making as well there are brand new daily money making activities so yeah that just gave me an infernal infling jar start off with blood so good luck as you can see you're getting lots of blood money chances at caskets and um cash let's uh loot the infernal jar let's go three goodie bags not bad curse jar as well for 2.5 bill that literally took me like two minutes as well in the wild and got all that guys so i would say that's a freaking op new money maker they've also just revamped the task scrolls which is definitely good for all the round every player here on spawn pk categorized between pvm and pk task you also have brand new rewards which are op and a chance to spawn a curse mimic being a global variant you can see right here uh, mr ryan spawning the boss as well this is actually so clean and of course the moonlight integrations look very neat as well with the hover over npcs etc you can also see now there it is cursed treasure hunting which is so sick cursed treasure maps are obtained primarily from scroll rewards in the form of map fragments if you obtain all three, you can bind them to create a mysterious map. And then you'll go on a, a little treasure hunt in the wild. We do have ourselves a cursed map. You can buy them in the POS for like 400 bell each, but uh, it shows me how to go uh, northwest. Now it's saying ease from here. I think I'm here. Hopefully. Please. Let's go. That's actually a good one because some are like global wide and a lot of players will come. There we go. But hey, uh, keep in mind, you do get magic sickness for a minute. So two cursed treasures obtained. First one. 
We got 10 cursed fragments. Second one, five. These will spawn a merchant where you can actually purchase different stuff, guys. The map uh, tokens here. Also, Verdant Pendant, Verdant Ring, Verdant Spade, and the Verdant Party Ad. Brand new rewards. Definitely some lovely bonuses as well. If you hover over, you can see right there. So, that's sick. Three brand new wilderness bosses were released. One being the Blood Reavers. A brand new boss accessible through the PK teleports and daily teleports, guys. You can see here it drops the Reaver Mask. Reaver Top, Reaver Legs, which can actually be uh, enchanted into eye versions as well, which will uh, make them even better. Reaver Mask will deal 30% more damage on wilding monsters and bosses. They have very low HP as well, 150 HP. So if you're a brand new player, grab a blowpipe or whatever and get to work. You'll be seeing you're getting Reaver Hides, which you can use on the uh, Reaver Hide Exchange to purchase the armor setups and etc. These actually deal 5% more damage on wilding monsters and bosses as well, and if you enchant them, even more. Next up, the Haunted Dreadbones, which drops the Skeleton Bow, which deals 20% more damage on wilding monsters and bosses. Also, the Blood Infinity set and some other goodies. Again, dude, all these are just making wildy crazy. And they, of course, drop all of this stuff, guys. The Skeleton Bow is a 1 out of 100, so getting that's not even too rare. If you've been bored recently, Swampy K updates are fucking huge, so hop in the game. Last but not least will be the brand new Basilic Knights, which drop this new rape here, which deals 30% more damage on wildy monsters and bosses, and it'll also raise to 50% once you are in Wilderness above 30. Other drops include this as well. So yeah, 250 instead of 150, and the rate for the actual uh, rape here is 1 out of 500, so yeah. Definitely one of the more rare drops to obtain, but that is crazy benefits. Now, like I said, guys, there's so much in this update that I really can't cover it all in one video. I want to showcase them properly. So a daily money making activity additions, loads of new stuff to do and chill things to get daily rewards from. Boat boss additions, guys, we have a smite rework, new slayer helmets. But the last thing today I want to showcase are the brand new Donator Zone revamps. This is definitely a hype update edition, guys. Each rank now has their own tokens. So, for example, VIP tokens, sponsor tokens, and so forth. Also, a tamed Cerberus, which is a global boss you can kill per day. You pretty much get 10 kills of this in each zone per day. And it comes with a like boosted drop table, lots of stuff. Look at that drop table. Quite juicy. Free bond, Cerberus pet chest all types of stuff each kill also gives you quite a bit of cash guys you get vip tokens cash bags but yeah the uh, sponsor tamed at cerberus also sponsor tokens and of course lots of cash per kill dude this is so amazing you can also boost your kill count per day by buying this booster right here for 14 days it'll give you plus five extra kills at each zone man these updates are so lovely yeah, boy, speechless. Also, the brand new 10k cosmic rank, which I will hopefully unlock soon, but this zone looks amazing as well. New zone benefits, new uh, zone rewards, new setups, lots of stuff. New cosmic revenants, new global bosses for this specific D zone. And yeah, there is so much, but I'll be covering this in a another video. So stay tuned. With that being said, guys, I hope you all did enjoy today's video. Lots of new content for Spawn PK, one of the best servers out there. Truly, it's amazing. Lots of people as well, super active community, and the updates are fire. So come and join. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video as well. Fat giveaways, so make sure and enter, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys, and have a great rest of your day.